Hey folks, we are answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. And today, we are going to discuss the reasons why a redirect after a password change might not be working. Let's get started. There are a few different ways to handle the redirect after a password reset, and it will depend on whether you are using the new universal login or the classic universal login, as well as if the password reset flow occurs through an email link or through a change password ticket created with the management API. The first path we will cover is with the new universal login. If a user goes through the forgot password link, the redirect will be to the application login URI configured for the application they were attempting to log into. If no application login URI is configured, they will be redirected to the tenant login URI. If that is not configured as well, the user will not be redirected anywhere, and we just need to close the tab. The next path we will cover for the new universal login is if you are using the DB Connections Change Password Endpoint of the Authentication API. This endpoint accepts an optional client ID parameter. If this is used, the behavior will be the same as if the user clicked on the forgot password link where they will be redirected to the application login URI for that client ID. If that is not configured, then to the tenant log in URI, if that is configured. The next path for the new universal login that we will cover is if a password reset ticket is generated with the API v2 tickets password change endpoint of the management API. This endpoint accepts a client ID parameter, which if used will follow the same pattern as before with the redirect to that client's application login URI or to the tenant login URI. If the client ID is omitted, the user will have a button that will redirect them to the tenant login URI, and if that is not configured, they will just see a screen that says the password has been changed, and they will just need to close the tab. Now we will cover the classic universal login. If a user goes through the forgot password link, the redirect location will be determined by the redirect to field in the password change email template. If a password reset ticket is generated with the tickets password change endpoint of the management API, this endpoint accepts a result URL parameter, which can be used to redirect the user after they reset their password in the classic universal login. Note that the client ID parameter will not apply if you are using the classic universal login and that only the result URL parameter will determine the redirect for the user. Today, we looked at the reasons why a redirect after a password change might not be working. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com.